Yes, I'm Peter. Om Shanti. Peace to you. Peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today I want to take a quote. So I'm going to read it. When it is dark enough, you can see the stars. When it is dark enough, you can see the stars. Ralph Waldo Emerson. When it is dark enough, you can see the stars. What on earth is he talking about? Hello? Hello? <laughs> How many of you have been through a dark night of the soul or actually know what a dark night of the soul is? Have you really gone so rock bottom at some point that you feel it's almost over? Your life is almost over. It's so dark. It's so bad. So awful. You can't see any way out of it. And a lot of people are going through that at the moment and persevere. Persevere. Because when the darkness comes, the light is also there, always by your side. Always, always, always by your side. It's just you don't see it at that point in time. Best thing to do is to wake up in the morning and really focus on yourself and see what actually happened. And it, is, it happens to me on a regular basis now, a regular basis where things will go wrong or things won't be as as successful as I intended them to be that means I was attaching to it too much and that would drag me down and then the next morning I wake up <laughs> shake myself out and then I see actually no this is going well this is going well is our society is so conditioned to, to get immediate results you do something you get a million pounds it's, you, you see all these entrepreneurs on the internet and they're giving up work, earning what hundred hundred thousand dollars, eighty thousand pounds a year, which is fair wage, and they're moaning that they're not millionaires because they're entrepreneurs, but they're still earning, they, they've actually started their own businesses up and earning the same amount of money that they were when they were working for somebody else. What? Are you not grateful with that? You're not grateful to have that. You can build on that. That's a brilliant building position. <laughs> and yet, they don't see the light in it. They just see it's dark. I mean, that's so superficial to me. It's incredible. But the, the ones who are going through this darkness, especially as we're going through this extended lockdown period and see, oh my goodness, everybody's stuck in their homes. We're all like in open prisons now where you can go out a little bit and even in some countries I don't think you can even go out still and it's terrible and you're going to be getting more and more depression in the society psychologists now are saying more depressions there are going to be more suicides there going to be more mental problems more mental issues more psychosis and this is really really important really important and very very serious really because you will be going down to a dark place if you're trying to spiritually wake up. And that's how it works. You go down and then you come back up even brighter. So the brightest light shines in the darkest cave. So you can shine brightly in that dark cave. It's just if you cannot feel any light at all, it's very, very difficult. I've been there, I know, it's been really hard. And just keep going. The idea is to keep going. Ralph Waldo Emerson was right. He said, when it's dark enough, you can see the stars. If you look, the point is looking. And the point is making that choice to see the light. Because you can choose just to focus on the darkness and you can choose to grab hold of it really tightly. And you, your fist will start to shake. And then if you take a deep breath in and just let it go. Oh, isn't that better? So much better, which is why I love the Qigong practice that I teach. And it's made a big difference to a lot of people's lives. And it's really difficult to do it online. I'm doing it online at the moment, but it's very difficult because it doesn't, you don't really get that energy that you get when you're in a room full of people doing it. But you can still start to learn it for yourself and you start to feel and, and the energy. And you start to realize there's more to me than just this physical body. And that is a big revelation. And the amount of people I've seen who actually felt the energy for the first time while doing what we call Jigam training, 
But their faces are changed, the, the paradigm's been shifted. They realize actually they can feel the energy around their body. So what are they? They're not their physical body. What are they? Your finger, your eye, your nose, your ear, your, your brain. What are you? Your lungs, heart, what are you? No, you're none of that. Your, your energy, your a eternal spiritual being, have a human experience, that's what you are. And when you go through these dark nights, dark night of the soul, when it gets really dark, hold on to that. And once you do get it and you, you, you realize that is what it is, what this really is, this experience is just an experience. You know, it's just temporary. This darkness will be temporary and it will, you will overcome it. I've been so many, through so many different types of trauma in my life. I realize that it will be over at some point. So you just need to endure it. Move, move yourself away from it. Meditate more. Shut the room. Shut, shut the door of your room and stay there. Make sure you've got somewhere safe to stay that is away from all of this craziness because it is going mad out there. In the matrix, it's going to go mad. And you're going to see enormous civil unrest and protests as this lockdown carries on and the governments carry on trying to keep us in our homes when it's been said, it's been said that by many scientists that this is a false alarm, massive, enormous false alarm. Some people say contrived, other people say buffoons, other people say, well, we've got to keep ourselves safe from the virus. <laughs> oh my goodness me, it's definitely, in my view, and all the research that I've done in my life, which has been about 10 years now, it's definitely contrived, it's definitely made up, and that is a problem, especially when people are coming to this information for the first time and they're realizing that there's something going on in the background, you are gonna feel dark. And my advice to you, if you are going down those rabbit holes and looking at what really is going on in the world, take a break from it. Step back, take a break from it. Get out into nature, get out with your friends, get out with something that lightens your mood because you will go down with it. It's very difficult information to get inside of you because you realize, oh, we need to do something about that. And part of that is the awakening of human beings. It's our awakening to go through this darkness so that we can come out and become more at one with the planet, more at nature, more living with nature. Our symbiotic relationship with nature is, needs to come out from this darkness. And it won't come out if you carry on just doing the same life or just it won't come out if you're scared or you give up with the darkness all around you. Give up. Don't give up. Never give up. It's your pioneering spirit that keeps pushing through. It will help you get through to the other side and you will be stronger. And you will be better. You'll be more value to other people. And it's your value to other people which is the most important essence of you as a human being because there's so few people who are really waking up and seeing what's going on. They're partially waking up, oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 you get all this. Partially waking up, but really waking up and going, we need to change our ways. We live on a beautiful planet with beautiful energy and beautiful people. So what's, go <laughs> what's going on? What is going on is it's crazy. Absolutely crazy what's going, going on. So it is the darkness that you need to accept, you don't have to embrace it, but accept it's there. Push through that darkness and find the light. When you find the light, you will go, ah! And then it, it becomes more of, you're just observing it. Like, a bit like you when you're meditating, you're just observing your thoughts. You're just observing this, this darkness that flows in and out, flows in and out. We've got neighbors next door. To observe their behavior is jaw dropping because it's so bad. It is so bad, they are perfect matrix citizens where they make obnoxious noise till late at night. They've always got the music blaring out, this effing and blinding all the time and it's, it's just swearing and bad language. Perfect, angry matrix people. And to try and talk to them or reason with them, <laughs> speak to the hand, speak to the hand. No, you can't. Don't be like that. Go through your darkness. Come out the other side, be the bright light that you need to be around your friends and family and change, make a change around your world and make it a better place for you to be around. 
So see the light. You can do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So hang on.